Anyways, um, so I wish I had time to document this whole read because it was a good one. Uh, it might have something to do with this textbook neuroticism that said, damn, you're psycho. Mm -hmm. Yeah, except for I've got somebody with a PhD that would beg to differ. So maybe, uh, you know, you're, you're projecting your own feelings towards yourself at me. Textbook neuroticism. Yeah, who would like use a name like that anyways, right? <laughs> so anyways, um, it was a really good read. The The lovers turn out in the middle and it was kind of where the story flipped and changed. But on this first side, you've got intuition. Well, possibility was at the bottom of the unicorn deck with leadership. Of course, it's my favorite. It's got the Northern Lights and that's the back of the, uh, you know, deck. So this is really the whole key point behind the importance of counterpart relationships. It's not for a gold digger, such as textbook neuroticism, to like steal a divine masculine's money that's intended for the future generations. So if you choose this path, which you know, you've had to use your intuition because a lot of stuff has come out concerning a whole lot of foul play, thievery, greed, on and on. Um, but anyways, yeah, two of wands. So started out with an immature individual, um, you know, somebody that is intended to be that way. But unfortunately, um, you know, with the eight of cups, there was disappointment in what was chosen. And, uh, you know, uh, the king of pentacles entered in this two of cups relationship. And um, actually, as a faithful, somebody that I thought they thought were faithful in the beginning, but turned out to be a queen of swords in the reverse, a malicious, narrow-minded, bigotous, deceitful, vengeful, ill-tempered person. You know, kind of like that textbook neuroticism that just uh, commented on my comment or whatever. I haven't checked that out. Um, but unfortunately, his love was placed in the wrong place and it turned out to be a whole lot of trickery, imprudence, dispute. Um, you know, of course, disagreements are always over money, right? Anyways, so, but on the right side, you actually have sanctuary and freedom. And that's the completion of the divine counterpart connection. And, um, you know, the Ten of Swords ends up being in the reverse. So you will actually profit from the connection rather than lose from it. Justice ends up being served and um, it creates, and it's, it comes with the communication and the truth coming out concerning everything. Um, and then you got your little page, little page of coins in the reverse, textbook neuroticism, an unrealistic person, dissipation of ideas, illogical thinking, rebelliousness, wastefulness, loss, unfavorable news. I'm sorry, you're pissed at me. Textbook neuroticism. There must be something behind that. Um, disputes, jealousy, harassment, quarrels, hacking, sabotage, on and on. It's not cool and it's coming out and you look like a fool now. Um, but anyways, yeah, the uh, changes have been slow. There's been a lot of obstacles to jump over. The, it's ending. There's an ending to a lot of friendships that really weren't there to, to serve Divine Masculine in the first place. But the harvest comes out of the whole thing. The seven of coins, growth, hard work, progress, money. And that's where we're at. We're at the turning point of it now, as according to this reading. Again, judgment was 